Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. Okay, let's go see if we can find that control port at uh, hex 23. Uh, we'll do a reset. Uh, we can write a program here at zero, although I'm not sure if we'll need it. Yeah, we'll write a little program. Um, let's see. Uh, let's, let's do an input from 23. Uh, input is 333. And uh, we will get data from 23. And let's just loop. So input 23, jump. Excellent. Okay. We're not going to output it. We're not going to do anything. Oops, sorry, pumped you. Um, we're just going to run. And um, we need to single step so we can see things. So instead of using the output port, we're going to just use the actual um, debugging tools that the front panel gives us. So uh, we're going to uh, reset. We're going to be here at, uh, oh, that's interesting. Our program is gone. I must have done something funny. OK, anyway, easy to write a new program. Uh, input 23. Jump 0, 0. Jump. Input. Jump, jump. Oh, there we go. OK. So we're going to single step. So we haven't done this before, I don't think. Um, this is a single step key, so we're going to execute instructions one by one. We're going to execute an input. Um, it's doing a memory read. Uh, so the first instruction uh, was fetch the opcode. It says I need a second uh, number, and so it, it's doing a memory read. It's getting the value 2, 3. Uh, and right now, we're executing that uh, instruction. Uh, we're doing an input cycle on the on the bus and uh, we're writing uh, reading this data uh, so currently uh, the bit 2 that we're interested in zero, zero, 001 and uh, it's low um, and if we single step we will see that each time we get around to here it's low okay let me type on the keyboard I need to open up the terminal window. Second. Okay. I'm going to type a character. Now let's go and execute. And the uh, the bit's gone high, and this bit's gone low. So. Take a look at that. It's interesting. And now it's uh, it's still low, and the character is high. So it remains high, I believe, until we read it. So let's read it. Um, we'll do an input. That's fine. This time we're going to read input from two two. That's fine. Let's go back to zero. Input from 2.2, two, two, jump. OK, we're going to execute this. Input from 2.2. Two, two. All right. Jump. Now we're going to change this back to 2.3. Hopefully I did that right. Okay. Now we're going to change it back. Oh, did I just do it? Input from 2, 3. Ah, and the bit's low again. So we saw this bit start low, and then we typed a character, and it went high. And then when we read from the UART, it went back low again. So that's, that's how this works. Um, 
that status register is uh, pulling pulling that pin until you read it, and then and then it comes back up again. So we're going to write a program uh, to uh, use that fact. Okay, let's boot CPM. <clears throat> Have the C drive loaded. That looks good. Okay, let's expand on our serial program. We're going to put in the uh, handshaking for the uh, uh, character ready, uh, the UART ready um, signal. We've looked at the schematics and we know that's uh, bit zero now. Um, no, bit zero is transmit. Bit uh, bit one is um, the receive. So let's take a look here. Um, what we need to do is come down here. Okay. Oops. Interesting, the tabs don't really quite work right here, but okay. What we're going to do is we're going to um, capitals uh, input from our uh, control. Let's put in a comment. <clears throat> input control port. Okay, and we need to mask off the bit that we're interested in. So let's do a and immediate with zero two. Uh, that will give us the second bit. Mask uh, ready. To, uh, mask character ready bit. And then we need to do a compare to see if that bit's been set. Uh, compare immediate. Uh, <clears throat> check bit. All right. And then we are going to do a loop waiting for that bit to show up. Uh, oops, start. Loop until a character, character is a, oops, uh, there is a available. Okay. Okay, so I think that's all we need to do. Let's go ahead and put in the rest of the comments. <clears throat> Get character. Echo character. Do it again. There we go. Let's see. I've got everything right here. I believe so. Well, let's see if we can give this one a try. Let's assemble it. Load it. And let's execute it. Excellent. Only one character at a time. So carriage work carriage return carriage returns. I don't I'm not sure how to get the line feed on the keyboard. Um, but uh our program seems to work. This is great. <clears throat>